Hey YouTube, how's everyone doing? Um, I hope you guys are all doing awesome out there. I have been feeling really wonderful ever since doing my water fast and spending a couple of days on juice and I just feel rejuvenated. Um, I promised um, a little while back that I was going to do um, a video on diet because um, you know, there's a lot, a lot of misinformation out there. I mean, it's, it's, it's huge. And, um, I thought, okay, I'm just going to throw everything into one little video. And then I thought, no, it's going to take forever. And I'm not going to get enough information out because I realized that I am a why girl. I need to know why. If somebody comes out to me and tells me something, I need to know why. I remember being a little girl and my dad, um, coming up to me and, and telling me, you know, when you're driving down the road, don't move the steering wheel up and down. And I remember me asking him, why? Why can't I? And he goes, don't worry about it. It just, just don't do it. So of course, the minute he wasn't in the car, yeah, I have to know why. I, I have to know why. So um, that's the same philosophy that I have adapted with, with my clients when I go out to see a client to help them heal or to help them lose weight or whatever it may be, that is what I have adapted. I like to be very simple, very plain, and make everything very understandable, and that's what I'm hoping to do for you. But what I decided to do is I wanted to break it down because I want to tell you what is not good for you, but I want to give you the reasons why, so that you know why you're giving up something or why you should not be eating something. And um, the first thing that I want to start out with is protein. Because I just got done going to the grocery store not too long ago, and the minute I walked um, through the doors of the grocery store, I was hit with signs everywhere uh, about protein. You know, we have just been totally brainwashed as far as the protein thing goes. You need protein. You need to consume protein. There are protein shakes. There are protein powders. There are protein bars. There, I mean, they are shoving down protein down your throat everywhere I look. You know, I mean, you see the TV, you turn on the TV, it's like, make sure you get your protein. Um, you know, it's just unbelievable, the misinformation that's out there. And most of the problem that I have when I go to a client's house is that some of the things that are not good for them, they think are, and some of the things that aren't good for them, they think aren't, and it just, it becomes a, a huge mess. So, um, I know that um, there's a few people out there that are, I'm probably going to hear it from you, but one of the worst diets that you can possibly be on is um, diets that are high protein. Um, Atkins, I believe, is one of them. Um, well, I know for a fact Atkins is one of them, and there's a few others where they really promote the protein, where you should get your protein, you should get your protein, and the proteins are, are very high. And, you know, carbs are very low, proteins are very high. Now, the reason that I know this is because uh, the reason that I'm in one of the states that I am right now, and I almost had to end up with ki ki kidney dialysis, was because of Atkins. Um, you know... A few years back, I didn't know what I was doing. I just went in blindly and, um, you know, and I ended up really screwing my kidneys up and I'll explain in a little bit why. Um, you know, it's just, it's just not a healthy diet It for, for us humans. It, it's just not. Um, and the reason is because meat, meat, if, if you... If you've ever woken up in the morning and you have pain in your legs or you feel pain in your shoulders or you have pain in your neck or you get the headaches or just pain anywhere throughout your body, the reason is because meat is extremely, extremely, extremely acidic. Not only is it very acidic, but it is also very high in protein. The human body only needs to consume 30 grams of protein a day. Anything over 30 grams, you are going to tax your kidneys. You are going to put 
more stress on your kidneys than your kidneys can ever handle. And that is one of the main problems with these diets that are very high protein. Anytime that you consume too much protein, you are going to have that problem because it creates a lot of acid. And when you eat meat, um, and I can hear you guys out there right now, oh my God, please don't ask me to give up my meat because I hear it from my clients all the time. And I tell them, yes, I have to ask you to give this up because this is one of the main reasons that our cancer rates are so high right now. Um, and our diabetes rates and everything else are just so high right now is because of meat. Um, and I don't care if it's organic. I don't care what kind of meat it is. It's just not good for you. And believe me, I was a huge meat eater. I would eat meat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But let me tell you what happens when you do that and you eat meat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anytime that you consume meat, it starts, it creates an acidic condition in your body and it starts to thicken up your blood. If you were to go into the hospital and you were to have your blood drawn and put in a tube, your blood should be um, kind of watery, you know, real pretty, nice and red. But what happens when you consume a lot of meat is that when you let that blood sit for a little while, at the very top of that tube, you're going to get this like mucusy um, jelly looking thing. Okay, and that's your blood thickening up from eating meat because it is going to thicken your blood out. So now, if you were anything like me, I was getting up in the morning and I was having bacon and eggs, protein, and then lunch would come around and I'd go and have a hamburger and french fries, protein, and then I'd come home for dinner and I'd have a bowl of spaghetti with meatballs and ground beef on top, more protein. So I was taxing my kidneys to the limit and I was thickening up my blood and when you put that much acid into your system, your system needs to find something to counteract that. So what it's going to use is it's going to use calcium. So you can look this up, you know, check it out. But after you consume meat, you literally will urinate calcium for three to four hours. You're just going to go to the bathroom and uh, urinate calcium. Um, so a lot of my clients um, tell me, you know, okay, I got it. No red meat. I'm going to do chicken. And I tell them, nope, no can do chicken. Because a lot of people believe that chicken is healthy. And organic, you know, grown chicken is, is, is fine. It is not fine. Organic chicken has um, the same exact amount of protein and cholesterol as red meat. Even the leanest cut of chicken still has 20% saturated fat. So you know, it's not doing you any favors. Um, then I hear people tell me, oh, I had a guy the other day tell me, okay, but I'll give up. All right, that's, that's cool, but you know what? I got to have my salmon. God, I love my salmon. He goes to get it at Costco, and I guess they smother it in butter and put dill on it, and he just says he cannot give up his salmon. I don't care if it's red meat, white meat, chicken, fish, whatever it is. Fish salmon actually has more cholesterol than red meat and has just as many fat, bad fats as chicken. So, um, you know... And then I have a lot of men, I guess the men are the ones that um, will argue with me the most. They'll say, you know, well, i got to have my meat because my meat puts hair on my chest. It makes me a man. That's the last thing that it does. Um, for men, meat is very bad for women. But for men, listen up, guys. Erectile dysfunction, meat. You can pinpoint it every single time. If it slows down the blood in your arteries and it slows down the blood in your body it's slowing down the bo the blood to all your veins okay that's number one number two is the prostate gland when you eat meat there's a certain chemical in meat that actually stimulates that prostate gland and will cause cancer 
So if you've been diagnosed with any kind of prostate problems, get off the meat now. The problem is that we have been brainwashed to death about protein, 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 protein. These companies know what they're doing. They want to get you hooked because they know that they can make money off of you. They're going to sell you that cow. They're going to sell you that pig. They're going to sell you that those eggs. They're going to sell you whatever they can because they're going to make money off of you and they don't give a hoot about your health or your weight or how you're doing. All they care about is their bottom line. Um, another problem with protein is that um, animals, while they're living, um, you know, they, they collect anger, they collect fear, they collect all sorts of emotions in their cellular DNA. And when you consume that animal, you are consuming that animal's DNA cellular structure. You are bringing that into your body. It's a well-known fact that people who eat meat are 45% more aggressive than people who don't. And there's a reason for that, because of that DNA cellular structure. So um, in uh, ending this little <laughs> protein um, video and teaching you about protein, I want to tell you a quick story. Um, I had a, a client, um, great guy, who decided that he wanted to get healthy. And he's been doing really well and doing very awesome. Um, he's gotten off the beer. He's, um, you know, I mean, he's given up the meat. He's done so well. I mean, I'm, I'm so proud of him. Um, except for last weekend. Um, I guess there was a barbecue and he decided that he was going to go eat um, a nice big old plate of pulled pork. This last past week, he's been very, very, very ill, um, very constipated, has not been able to consume his food correctly. Um, and about three days ago, he started becoming very, very ill. Um, his wife called me very concerned. Um, he started literally hallucinating with very high fevers and um, very, very sick. Um, she was really afraid she was going to end up losing him. This is how bad meat is for you that after he got his body so clean that all he did was introduce meat and it created that much of an uproar where... Um, I was literally over there all weekend and we were scared to death that we were going to lose him because, because of that. So um, if there's anyone out there that believes that eating a dead piece of flesh that has been sitting in its own blood for who knows how long at the butcher's and then who knows how long at the grocery store and you're going to fry all that up and you're going to consume it and it's healthy for you. I don't know what to tell you because it's not and trust me like I said before I was a person that I used to eat meat all the time no one no one loved their ribeyes <gasps> more than me and um, it was one of the first things that had to come off my plate and ever since that has come off my plate my digestive system thanks me so much and my head thanks me so much and the pain in my legs thank me so much and you know all the pain in my shoulders are thanking me and because they're all gone you know the swelling that I used to have in my legs are no longer there the calcium deposits that I used to have on my ankles are gone all this is gone because I've broken up all that acid and I'm no longer consuming that not only that but I'll be the first to admit that I used to be a very, very, very angry person. I would constantly yell and scream at everything. And ever since I've stopped eating meat, I've just completely changed. Um, and as a final note, and I'm not going to touch too much on this, everybody always asks me, where do you get your protein? The infamous question to every vegetarian 
every vegan out there on the planet, where do you get your protein? And I always tell them, the same place that those big bulls, those big cows, the giraffes, the gorillas, and all those big rhinos and all those big buffed animals get their protein. I get it from my plants. All you need to do is eat one simple salad with some spinach on it. You've eaten your 30 grams of protein and you didn't do any harm to your kidneys or to any animals out there on this planet. So I hope you start taking that into consideration, whether you want to get your health on track, whether you want to cure cancer, MS, diabetes, you want to lose weight, please, I ask you to consider looking and doing some research into protein, cutting down your protein, avoiding the meat, and you are going to thank me a million times over because you are going to feel so wonderful, so healthy, and so so happy. See you next time. Bye-bye.